colours as well. So starting off with Neo Neo Naomi. Neon Naomi. Neon Naomi. Um, it's a bit of a tongue twister. Um, and you've got those gorgeous, shocking colours, as you can see. They're absolutely beautiful. That's the first of your options. Uh, take you through the second one. The, ooh, this one. So this one is uh, Atomic Tina and Debesque, which I love that. Absolutely beautiful. Now, these are coming together in pairings for £10.98. We've got your Shaggy Chic and K-pop. Gorgeous. I love that purple. Beautiful. Then you've got your outrageously Jojo. And is Joanne she? Rowe. Yeah. Is she? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah Joe Rowe. Rowe. Definitely. Definitely suits the two or two. And then we've got Bost, <laughs> which is um, for our Lynette, I'm guessing. It is, you're correct. <laughs> and the fast, last one that we've got with this one is your wipe out and your days. And you've got that gorgeous pearlescent tone, as you can see that of your days there. They're coming huge pots. There's a lot. You're very generous with the pots in there. There is a lot in the pots, mm. and you really don't use a lot of them. Beautiful. Um, now, these are all pre-mixed and ready to go. Acrylic gels there, so loads and loads of possibilities. Incredible value for money. And I would keep a note of that item number because you might not necessarily go for them all in one go, but you will collect them over time. So it's a case of you'll either be adding to your collection or maybe getting your collection started. So we, either way, the details are there, 733252. And as I say, keep a note of that number because you will come back and revisit that one. A little bit like some of the other items that we're going to share with you because these are always busy as well. We are talking about sprays amazing sprays now my first introduction to these was um charmaine was working with some of these earlier on oh was she yeah she's spraying through a stand like incredible oh. results look beautiful yeah they are very very pretty sprays and the way that the the, the mica opposes the can ink I, color that's in I there bring up so one if you, of these, yeah, if you just, it just tip it you Have can see so is that the vintage patina that you've picked it up is, there? yes yeah i think it so is got oh, really, no, coastal oh, waters, coastal this waters. One, yeah. So the, the mica in that is like a sunshine yellow. Gorgeous. Now, the range that we've got, that we're looking at, you've got a set of three with these. I'm going to pop that back with the others because I've actually got some cards that I can show you these. Over 60% of the stock has gone. Now, these are beautiful because obviously you've got the spray application with these. So you can really kind of go in and get quite close or, or lift away and get quite a subtle spray. But what you will get is that gorgeous mica coming through. So as I tilt and turn that, you can see that. It kind of gives you that two-tone effect, especially when you look at the green there, those gorgeous blues coming through. So that one is your coastal waters that we've just been looking at. You've got, um, oh, sorry, they're individual names, aren't they, of course? Yeah, so you've got your coastal waters. Emerald Haze. Emerald Haze. Iced Sunshine. Iced Sunshine. Absolutely gorgeous. It's almost got that kind of, it's always like a mother of pearl that you've got with that. It's like a little, I'm looking it at is, it and seeing pinks like and a, blues. It's yeah. like a peachy yeah. sort of colour. Very, very clever. I like that one. Oh, now this is a warm bundle. So with this one, we've got Bittersweet Orange. Bittersweet Orange. Beautiful. Oh, that's a pretty one. Frosted Latte. Oh, gives me nail polish. Um, and then, oh, look at that one. That one's bronze. That is gorgeous. I think that's... Mm. See, I do like the last one, but because that goes with my nails, I like that one as well. Oh, <laughs> now, this one's an interesting combination. So what we've got here, gorgeous pink. So I think this one that we've got is... Is it Flush, Flush Dreams? Dreams? Flush Dreams, yeah. Uh, your willow green. Willow green and transparent twilight. And it's gay. You can really see those subtle undertones coming through there again, can't you? Absolutely gorgeous. So that's your, that's uh, that tree. Oh, now. Oh, can I just say, if I'm doing my personal shopping bit, can I just bring those ones back in again? Because those, I think, look really good together. I like those together. So what have we got this time? Ooh. Vintage violet. Vintage violet, lovely. Ultraviolet and misty morning. Gorgeous. And it's lovely because you've kind of got that more subtle tones. Maybe if you want those lighter tones rather than deeper tones, that's a nice set to go for. And I think we've got one more to share with you. Oh, this is a proper grungy set, it this is. one, isn't it? This is so like your patinas and stuff. Yeah, Rustic Rose, Vintage Patina and Deep Ocean. Beautiful. Two-thirds of the stock of this one has gone. So if you like those kind of rusty and oldy looks, then that is definitely the one for you. But you need to be quick. So if you're wanting these, 436-639. As I say, they're in their trios. On the website, you'll be able to see those colorways. But I'm sure we will come back to these as the hour progresses. Now, something else we're going to see we're networking with are these. Now, you've got your gel mediums. It's kind of one of those basic requirements, really, isn't it? So this one is your medium, uh, your gel medium, as you can see. So you can dry clear with this one, but of course, you can add it also sorts of different colours and things into it. Um, £13.98. pence. Two huge tubs of uh, 150 mil. Gosh, there's a lot in there. Yeah, 024 888 if you are wanting those. What else can I tempt you with? 
Oh, now, how do you fancy a pick and mix? Well, here you go. We've got a gesso one for you. And I love this idea because we don't always want them just bundled together. We want to choose. So you could choose from your white with these. You've got your black, which is perfect if you go for those two. But then you've got your transparent as well. See, I think I'd go for white, black and two transparent. Mm, I think that'd be my combination. £13.98 for whichever two of those you choose to go for. So 495808. Um, what else can I show you? Oh, your texture paste. Now, this is brilliant. So it's white. Um, and again, it's adding that texture, that depth. With those stencils, it's going to be amazing. So I'm um, at 380673. Again, you're going to get two of those. It's pick and mix. So you've got your thick, you've got your resist texture paste with these ones as well. And your sand texture as well. Lots of grit. And, oh, marble as well. My goodness, we're spoiling you with all these choices. £12,098. Again, keep a note of that item number because you will be coming back for more. 380673. So, of course, we are busy for our one day special yet again, always is, um, and I'm not surprised, absolutely beautiful. Now, Lynette's going to be working with these in her demonstration, so I'm guessing we best come over to you, my dear. Yes, please. <laughs> what you got planned for us? Right, so I'm going to be doing um, a journal page okay. with my green Ellie. I love it. I, I know. I absolutely. I just loved colouring it in. Yeah. Absolutely loved it. So I'm going to show you first how you can use your sprays for water colouring. Oh, okay. Because you don't have to use a specific water colour. Mm -hmm. You can use what you've got. If you haven't got water colours and you've got sprays, use your sprays. It's this thing. I mean, our viewers will often watch and it's like we mention these different things, but we it's rather than having to go out and buy more of, I don't know, something else. Like you say, utilising what you've got. So, That's it. Yeah. I mean, I like to have multiple uses of things. Okay. You know, so like the explosion powders, they make yes. beautiful chalk paints when you mix them nice. with white yeah. gesso. Yeah. They'll make a beautiful acrylic paint when you mix them with transparent gesso. Okay. You know, you can spritz them. You, so many different things that you can do with them. Having good ingredients, isn't it? Yeah. So, I'm hoping that's dry enough. Just going to pop a little bit of water. Okay. And put the lid back on the neck. So you give them a bit of a and roll. Just going to give it a roll around. Okay. To wake up that mica Lovely. that's in the bottom. And we will do our flowers two different ways. Oh, okay, right. So let's just spread that water around. And then I'll put that down there. I'm just going to drop that one. Ooh. in the middle okay. and let it spread. What kind of card are you working with? I should have asked that before this we started. Is, th there's only one type of card I ever work with. Okay. And that is Charmaine's Mixed Media card. Well, perfect for all yeah. different yeah. occasions. Dolly yeah. Nicole's Mixed Media card. Yes. So, let me just pick up some more and then I'm going to take... So, I always do big groups of flowers. Mm-hmm. So I'll st I would stamp all this as flowers and then just watercolour it all oh, in one okay, go. Right. So I've just taken in the vintage violet from the outside and then I'll take the blush dreams in and just press my brush down and let it, so it move where just it wants go, to go yeah. wherever it wants to go. And then if I want more movement, I will just pick it up and roll it around and then you get a very natural looking flower yeah, scented do, going yeah. out and as it dries it just look at it as that's drying now it's gorgeous and then you get the mica coming through as well fabulous technique i can see the mica from over here actually so i used on most of the flowers i used the bush dreams and the vintage violet mm -hmm. and then just went over with some white pen and a little fine liner so and then i used the bittersweet orange and the coastal waters Gorgeous. For these ones. And they do, they just give a really lovely variation. No two flowers are the same. No ways useful to have a good stash of those, could I? Yeah. So we'll just pop that out of the way. And we shall bring in, pretend it's a journal. Okay. But it will, it will stick in my journal when it's done. So I'm going to start off with our cashmere quill stamp. Or as we know them paisley so it's actually called bote okay so the indian yeah the indian word bote. is bote fabulous so the other one we've got is uh, bote princess so i'm just gonna 
pop down a little bit. They're good sized stamps, these. They are. And you can see I've missed a few bits, but that is no bother at all. Okay. Because we're going to build, this is just our interest in our background. We're going to keep the background quite plain. Okay. Because mm -hmm. we're going to bring in the colour with our Effie lump. <laughs> as I, as I and that's kind of nice sometimes, isn't it, to have your main focal point, the kind of the, the real eye-catching bit. So, let's just build. I'm not doing very well with these, am I? It that looks fine to me. Concentrate, isn't it? Oh, that's okay. I'm trying to be well, quick. Sometimes when you, you're going for different to, um, effects, different kind of looks, you don't always necessarily want it to be that kind of crisp element all the way around it. I mean, it's like anything, isn't it? You get those aged elements when you, as time I goes on. I say on. this on Facebook Lives all the time. I, I don't actually like anything that's too perfect. Yeah, it's personality added to it, I think. So let's just add in some smaller ones. It's nice you've got the different sizes there. So yeah, where you've got the little open spaces that you want to fill in, you can twist and turn and put the different sizes in there. That's it. So let's put that one in there. So it's just really quick, simple, just to create our background. Lovely. Really pretty. So then I coloured in our Effie lump. Beautiful. So Raja will go there and we're going to have a cascade of flowers. So We'll add all these in. So let's put, pop her down first. So okay. just and I love the headdress and it's beautiful, a floral crown. It is very pretty, isn't it? And um, her lashes, her eyelashes. Have you checked out her eyelashes? Absolutely amazing. So now she's got eyelashes to die for. <laughs> so the you can see on... Let's just give her a little bit of dimension. Hope that's sort oh, of central. Nice. So actually fussy cut even the tiny, tiny flowers that we've got on the stamp set. Oh, wow. And they are going to adorn her... Oh, let's just pick them up. Put them on there. They're going to adorn her headdress. Oh, that's a nice idea. So I'm just going to get my gel medium. And I'm going to be as random as... Just popping the gel medium down and picking up a flower and putting it wherever I've got a spot of gel medium. So I could also just add a little bit of dimension by crushing them, as I call it, crushing them. It's brutal, isn't it? <laughs> In the palm of my hand, just to add. Right. So... Let's just start layering up and adding our flowers in. So I'll take one pinky purple and then I'll take one of the, the blue orange. And we're just going to take them all the way up to the two corners. Fabulous. Now, just while you're doing that, Lynette, is it OK if I just mention some of your fabulous sprays to people? Of course. We've been really, really busy with these. Now, this is the set where you've got your rustic rose. Can I just show you the base of that? How gorgeous is that? I mean, look at that. That's all we're just waiting for you to swirl that around, use it within the spray. So that one is your rustic rose. Alongside your rustic rose, you've got that beautiful vintage patina. And you can see those gorgeous bluey hues in there. Um, and the last one that you've got is that gorgeous deep ocean. And again, you can see those coppery tones coming through in that one. Now, obviously, you're going to swirl these up and spritz them and spray them. I hope I've picked up the right card to accompany those. I think I have. Is that the right ones, yeah? Yeah. And this is amazing, because you know the blue that we saw at the bottom? Look at that, how that comes through. That gorgeous bronze that comes through. Beautiful, and those gorgeous golden tones. Now, this particular set, if you're liking the look of this one, you need to be quick, because it's rapidly approaching limited stock. Not got huge amounts of these left, so if you're wanting to get hold of it, you need to take the details that are on your screen and choose this particular set. So this set has got your deep ocean in there. It's also got your vintage patina in there. And then it was your rustic rose. Couldn't remember the last one, so there you go. 
absolutely gorgeous. Busy for the others as well. And as I say, these are ones that people collect. So it might be that you're just getting started. This might be your first ever set. Not a bad set to start with, I don't mind saying. Um, but whichever of those sets you go for, just be aware we are busy for them. And it's the versatility. I mean, these are sprays, but of course, Lynette's been using them like a watercolour paint. So you don't have to use them as a spray formation. But don't they look amazing when you do? Um, 436639 if you're wanting to get hold of those. Oh, Lynette, this is coming together a treat. That looks amazing. It is. And do you know It's just so fun colouring in and playing with these flowers. I mean, a lot of, a lot of people don't know Sorry, me. Sorry, that's, for, me. that's me, Butterfingers. Don't, <laughs> me, don't know me for stamping and colouring in because I am more of a dimensional mixed media person. But this is actually how I started off crafting. Okay. Is the, is the stamping, cutting out, decoupaging. Well, I didn't know that. Did you not? No. Yeah. I mean, you're so good at everything. Now, it's difficult oh. to pin it down as to which was the original bit. But <laughs> I love this diagonal sweep. That's a really nice way of uh, presenting those it's flowers. Just, it's just nice sometimes just to think outside of the box. Yeah. And uh, just try and mix up your compositions a little bit. Do something a little bit different that you wouldn't normally do instead of, you know, putting something on one side, mm. try it on the other side. You know, do it in a way that you wouldn't you wouldn't normally do it. So I'm just add a blue flower there. We need one more flower and then we can do the good bit. So we will the good add bit. this looks good, pretty good to me. <laughs> good bit. We will add in that depth there, beautiful. You just wipe that off on there. Everything else gets wiped off on there. Have you added a little bit of white gel pen to some of those as well? I have, yes. So there oh. is a little bit of white gel pen in there just nice. to give it extra depth. Yeah. So it looks like I've spent hours colouring those. Does, yeah. But I haven't. It it's was, just that it was literally, it was dab dab, like you can see here. Very clever. That they've now, what I like to say, melted yeah. into each other. So there's no hard lines. And just by giving them that spritz first, you're giving the water, the the colour freedom to move around. Wonderful. Right, so let's take our stencil. Oh, yes. And let's get some good gloopy stuff. <laughs> I love that. On good there. gloopy stuff. So, um, which stencil are you working with, Lynette? So this is the Tantric Rose. Lovely. And I've got the, yeah, I thought it was, Shaggy Chic and Dazed. Fabulous. So I'm going to do like I did in the first hour. So I'm going to try and hold it down. And I'm not going perfectly because I want to mix in another colour. This is nice because they've got that translucency to them yeah. that look amazing. So I just want to marble another colour through. Whoops. Daisy, not once but twice. <laughs> we'll pick that up. Oh wow! And we'll go on this side. Make sure I've got no squidge. If I have, it doesn't that matter. That is beautiful. And we will go. Let's go the purple first. Let's get rid of what we've got here. And now we'll add in. And they're lovely. I mean, I love that translucency that you've got with these. I've not seen these up close before and didn't realise just how effective they were. Right, so we've got our hint got. of colour there in the background. Pop that out of the way. And what I'm going to do now, while well, I've got this on here... Okay. ...is... No, don't use a good watercolour brush use it no you're going to use the good watercolour brush <laughs> i forgot to bring my splatter brush so whatever's left on there we're getting now this lovely pale lilac colour the thing is it's, it's totally correct to go with the other elements that you yeah. work with so let's add some splashes so you can watercolour with it, you can use it as a texture paste, and now you're adding your mixed media-ish elements. So we've got a few going on there, and it wouldn't be 
right for me if it didn't have some black splashes as well. <laughs> so let's get some black gesso and do exactly the same. See, this is, I'd never think of this. Water, yeah. water it down. Can make it nice and liquid. And we'll even get some over Raja. And even though you've diluted it down in that intensity of colour that you've got with that gesso, it's still giving it that black solid look. Brilliant. And, and of I course the gesso is part of the pick and mix, just going to pop those details up at the bottom of your screen. Yeah, I would be tempted, I've got a little bit of muck there, I'd be tempted to get a little bit of white splatter across here. Do you know what, let's, let's, Ooh, let's, do, let's it. do it. Let's do it, let's not just let's talk about it. it, let's do it. I'm going to need another brush. And I love it. And this is just using one of those stamps. I mean, you, you've got so many stamps in here. You've got, obviously, you've got 70 stamps. You've got lots of subliminal stamps. They're little supportive stamps, as I call them. Things like the little flowers in it's been word. using with. Pardon? That's a better word. What's supportive that? Supportive stamps. Supportive stamps. Yeah. <laughs> they well, they do. They kind of support. Yeah. Stamps. yeah, supportive. Yeah. I'm going to use that. Thank You're you. welcome to. You can. You can do. Um, and then you've got those main character stamps. I know some people call them hero stamps or your main image stamps. Beautiful throughout. You've got the gorgeous sentiments feature in these. We will show you the one day special again in a few moments. But while Annette is sharing with you, just using a few of those stamps to create one particular design that could be replicated in a whole host of different ways because you've got so much choice within the one day special. Now, the savings on your screen there is £26. Everybody's taken advantage of that saving. But Freedom members, you've got an additional saving. Saving. And they were available as individual stamp sets, these, but sadly we have lost three of them individually. So the only way you can get hold of the fabulous stamp that Lynette's been working with, that gorgeous elephant image on there, is within the one day special. And we are getting very busy with regards to that one. I love the lion as well. I mean, the lioness, I mean, she's so strong as you can see there, but those beautiful flowers softening the edges there. The paisleys, again, you've got so many of those. You'll be able to build up so many different ways of working with those. And the inspirational quotes that you've got with these as well. Absolutely phenomenal. I mean, you can see here, the design team have had so much fun with regard to these. And the sentiments, I love this because you kind of got the main image there. And then all of a sudden, your eye just goes to the left, to the right, or drops down to the bottom. And you see those words of inspiration there. And sometimes those words are just as strong as the image because it's the sentiment and it's the positivity that it's designed to give you that kind of just makes you go, yeah, right, I get that. So, uh, yeah, I love it. Absolutely amazing, beautiful artwork, gorgeous stamps, and a whole host of them, 70 of them. Fabulous deal. Love it. How are you getting on over there, All right, Lynette? so all I have done is... Let's use... No. Let's use the gel medium. That's not even gel medium. <laughs> I've just stamped out the sentiment. Which one did you go for? I went for... Do you know what? I didn't... The question is, who are you? Ooh. Oh, that's deep, isn't it? That is the kind of phrase that you'd uh, I'd have to look at the name in the, the back of my shirt to check that one. But like you say in a journal, I mean, that is, yeah, that's quite a, quite a strong phrase. Uh, when this is all dry, the only other thing that I would do is just edge with, I'd probably use black Sharpie because it's me. I mean, I'd just <laughs> pick it up out of my pot and go, whoosh, around it just to finish it off nice so these little edge. affirmations they're kind of the things that you almost want on t-shirts and things like that aren't they some of these phrases very right. strong phrases we go in there but it definitely just needs that black round the edge I've got a pro marker here so let now the, the gel that you've used is that still wet at this stage yes it is so yeah it it's, doesn't it's... take long to dry okay you just leave it to air dry or can you heat you it? you can heat it okay you can heat it so I'm just going to keep away from where it is at the minute yeah I will just edge here so you can get the impression of. yeah in fact I might take it a little bit the difference that that little edge adds it's kind it of nice as well that when it doesn't go edge to edge and it just goes in those air, open areas actually. I mean, obviously, I yeah, know you're avoiding them because they're wet, but yeah. A little bit of a, a thicker area there. That looks so fabulous. That is my finished. And that is beautiful. Peace. Lynette, thank you so much. Thank Isn't that you. gorgeous? 
That is beautiful. And as I say, just using minimal elements from your one-day special. Let Lynette get herself ready while we have a quick recap. So this is a boring bit. This is when I'm doing my talky-talky bit. So if you're wanting to place your order, I will not be offended in the slightest if you go off and place your order. Um, what I don't want you to do is find that you're missing out on any of those items that we've been chatting about. And of course, the one-day special is the star of the hour. It's our second live hour with it, and you have been loving it. Several of these stamps are sold out individually, so the only way you can get hold of the three that we're just looking at at the moment is via your one day special but to be honest that's the way that you best to get hold of them because that's where you're getting your saving that's where you're getting the ability to spread the cost as well which means you can get all 70 of those stamps on their way to you for that first flexi buy payment now everybody saves at least 26 pounds which means that you'd be paying 34 pounds and 96 pence at least um, if you are a freedom member then you're actually going to be paying less than that because that saving on your screen there have a look at this it's now increased to 32 pounds and 99 pence it means that for just £31.47p, you will get all 70 of those gorgeous inspirational stamps on their way to you. Stamps that are going to be perfect for your main focal image, your main sentiment, but also some incredible pattern building stamps there as well. Background stamps. I mean, some of those are big stamps that you could use, repeat stamping on something to make a gorgeous background for your main characters to feature on. But then, of course, don't forget things like your gel mediums, your paste, your stencils all of them vital ingredients for you to get some amazing pieces that you can be able to create I mean here I love that sentiment prove them wrong that's such a wonderful phrase there's just three little words but isn't that true for, uh, prove them wrong show them that you can do it again here I love that like a diamond you are unbreakable and again, the strength of character with that gorgeously strong um, image. I mean, it's like the lioness, isn't it? We are uh, always proud to, to kind of act and uh, they say that the lioness came out. Um, like a diamond, you are unbreakable again there. I love this one because they're kind of two different versions using the same sentiments, but very much different looks. You could be making your fabulous artwork, just as we saw Lynette create, as a different version, um, um, inspired, obviously, um, with the piece that uh, Lynette worked with, but using different stamps, using different stencils, maybe different colours, you get different results. Love this one. One of the, um, the actual um, designs that you've got from the stencil, Tom has created this one. Just reminds me of a dream catcher. Beautiful, yeah. isn't it? Just like a dream catcher. Now, we're only in our second live hour and already over 40% of the stock has gone. Now, we've been working with some quite large pieces, but what about those small elements? What about trying out those little techniques? I love this. Some of the stamps, and this is what I love, that background. I have no idea what it says. I know it's a story about Little Donkey, because um, we heard that from Lynette earlier on, but it just looks beautiful being used as a backdrop there. The gorgeous henna-inspired flowers featuring there. And I must admit, I am a bit of a sucker for a, a paisley absolutely beautiful no sprays being used in the backdrop there with that little hint of mica coming through again the stencils partially used in the corners there and again some fabulous phrases and sentiments giving inspiration to anybody that receives these pieces art journals i mean it could be you're creating a page like this where you've got those gorgeous colors building up the stamps as you can see here adding in that gorgeous texture there of course, don't forget those wonderful mediums that we've been chatting about. And then again, whether it's an entire card that you're creating or whether you are just taking a little piece. See, I love these as well. I just think these are just subtle. You don't need an awful lot, do you? But there you go. And look at the way that that's pristine stamped out. Absolutely beautiful. Now, if you are wanting your one day special, you're going to be in very good company. Lots of you are placing your orders. 60 stamps in total there, two flexi buys. If you're a freedom member or not, brilliant value for money, but even more so if you are a freedom member. So I do urge you to pop those into your basket. 70 stamps in total. Please do not miss out on this one. Take advantage of it, but treat yourself to some of those additional goodies that Lynette has been working with. Talking of Lynette, I think we're going to come back to Lynette straight away. Got a blank piece of paper there. That can be I a bit have. scary. You know, I've got really, really mucky hands, and I'm like, why don't you save this probably... for a first demo? <laughs> I love it. Because it's going to end up with fingerprints all over it. But there'll be a little bit of you. A little well, bit of yeah, you in this artwork. True. <laughs> That's true. Right, so I've just sack magiqued my card. And if you want to know what sack magic is, it's your little magic. Oh, okay. Bag. Right, I want to Just your anti-static bag. Got you. My sack magic. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just, I, I'm going to use a stamp press for this. Okay. Um, just because I do want perfect image no what I'm, I'm going for, which is unusual for me to want that perfect image. 
So I've got a very, very juicy white. Now, this uh, is not going to look... see an awful no, lot. I was going <laughs> to say, you're not going to see an awful lot. The magic will happen. It's worth waiting for. Right, it'd be worth waiting for. So, literally, I am just going to add a couple just okay. to speed this over. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, we are busy. We are busy, busy, busy. Lots of you wow. join us. Perhaps this is the first opportunity that you've had to see the one day special. We are incredibly busy though. And again, if you're wanting to get hold of these stamps in their entirety, the only way is with your one day special. Because these top three here are not available individually. To be honest, it's the, the biggest save. 32.99. Why would you go for them individually when you can save 32.99? Right, so we've got three big ones on there. So this is the Volte Prince. No, it's not. This is, yes, it is. It's Belte Princess. I love the names that you've come up with. with so, um, well, I love them, but I don't like speaking them because some <laughs> of them are a bit tricky to get out. I know. Uh, do you know what? It's, it's like that, isn't it? When, uh, when you look at a word for the first time and you just... It's nowhere I'm to put saying it. I know when I'm doing Facebook Live and that, and people will, like, tune in from different countries. We have so many people from different countries on the Crafting With All crafting together with all brands that's, page that's and the names too, yeah. come up and I'll attempt but I apologize straight away oh I'm terrible I'm like if that is wrong I am so sorry right so worst demo ever white on white <laughs> we're just waiting I'm just feel like I need a drum roll and then we're going to put the white embossing powder on <laughs> top of it so you're still not going to see anything <laughs> but it is worth waiting for I absolutely <laughs> there is enough. stuff there I can see it I can see it's there yeah, it, it is just there I'm trying to be quick okay. get this bit out of the way and then we've got the boring heat gone okay so you used a white ink, ink pad with this one could we use a clear if necessary yes you could okay and do you know why I didn't because all my clear ones are absolutely filthy I find that hard to hard to believe Lynette. no they they've got black ink all over oh dear. they've actually decided this time that I am going to have a clean set of stamps and a dirty set of stamps. Yeah, quite a few people. I, I could, no, they have kind of like their, their clean clear and their dirty clear, as yeah. they call it. So I hadn't gone perfectly with that sack my sheet. There's a little bit of uh, fingerprint still on there. So let's just pop that out of the way. Lid on there. And we will get... If you want to do anything more interesting while I am just doing this. No, no, I'm ready to. Because you can see it's starting can. to reveal there. Because as it starts kind of melting and going into place, you can see, and especially from the angle that uh, Marcus is showing us here, you can see. Well, thank goodness beautiful. to Marcus because I'm having to dip he's, my head right down all right. to see it. He's all right, yeah. He's okay. He's all so, right. Yeah, the, the magic is starting to happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to watercolour again with the sprays. So... This, honestly, Hayley, this is taking forever. So if you want to recap or anything, Okay, well, shall I very quickly do. show you the one-day special then? Um, so just while um, just while Lynette is working on these, because we are getting very busy for these as well, have a look at these. These are beautiful. Starting off with this gorgeous elephant with a fabulous fan. have to apologise. It's Raja's crown. Gorgeous. The phrase that you've got with this one is wear that crown every day. That is the beauty with this one. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me turn these round as well so you can actually see what's on the back of these. Um, and our cage, she's there. Her crown is absolutely magnificent. Occasionally it can drop a little bit, but it's kind of more of a quirky angle than dropping. So, uh, yeah, she always wears that crown with style. Then what else have I got to share with you? Oh, my goodness. Bengali queen. And I love this. If you notice the detail, that gorgeous, uh, kind of almost like a henna element running down the bridge of her nose, you will see that appearing on other elements within the stamp range. It's all about that detail. And that detail that you've got there, you'll see that gorgeous little squiggle, but then the squiggle will appear somewhere else where you can use it as a border or a corner. That's the amount of detail that Lynette has gone to bringing these beautiful stamps to you. Then you've got your gorgeous swirls, as it or flourishes, should I say, of your leaves there. One going to the left, one going to the right, which is always useful to have. Then your phrases, your phrases and your sentiments. These are brilliant. Now, what's this one called? A Carol App. A Carol App. So it actually translates as you do you. Oh, you do you. I love it. 
You do you, you do you. and I'll do you me. You do you, because you do you best. <laughs> um, let us live in the beauty of our own reality. Once you choose hope, anything else is po um, possible. Love this. Now, these ones, they are um, individual stamps, as you can see there. You can chop into them if you prefer to, and then use them um, individually if you're wanting to. But you can see they're absolutely beautiful throughout. That one has sold out. So those last three that I've just shared with you, those ones have sold out individually. The only way you can get hold of them is within your one day special. Um, and that is the beauty of these. Not only are you getting those sold out stamps, but you're also getting a phenomenal deal with this one. Freedom members, um, £32.99. pence. This one is a beautiful one. All you need is now. And this is your flower of Gita. 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 Love Sorry. that. That's okay. Down, now, Gita, I know Gita is a name. Is that right? Yes. Is a, yeah, I know that one is a, a female name. So, yeah, lovely. Beautiful there. 50% of the stock as this one has gone by itself. Again, so much detail in here. Absolutely beautiful. And as we drop down to the front, we've got another four beautiful stamps. Again, they've proven to be just as popular as the top set. But it's, again, it is a case that most of you are going for them together. Now, this gorgeous posy, absolutely beauty. So, this one is Rani's um, posy. And I love that. Accept reality, forget the past, believe in the future. Beautiful. And you've kind of got your smaller elements as well as your larger. I love that because you can use the large one in the main focus and then the smaller one maybe on the envelope or in the um, inside. Next one that we've got to share with you. This is the one where you're going to get those gorgeous little swirls in there. And this one is Bote Princess. Beautiful. Gorgeous, beautiful little designs as you can see there. Then the paisleys. Oh my goodness, you are getting so many of those paisley swirls. But it's Mendy. That is the kind of the original um, element where it comes from in India. And you can see there, um, absolutely gorgeous, beautiful detail. Even down to those little tiny dots, they're going to stamp out beautifully. Um, and then finally, you've got your cashmere quill, which again, you can see those elements all coming together. And I love the script at the bottom of that one. Beautiful. Something to do with a donkey. Here you go. Love yeah. it. And 088888. So if you're wanting to pop those into your basket, please do so. We're going to head back to Lynette in just a few moments, but I must tell you about those mediums. Now, the mediums that we've got, um, of course, you've got all those different gorgeous gels that Lynette has been working with in her demonstrations. These come to you in pairings. Um, they're all on the same item number, so you kind of pick which two you're wanting to go for. So are you going to go for your fluorescence? Well, your fluorescence, you've got your neonami. Neonomi. <laughs> then you've got your shocking shouty pants. I love these. I love to meet these people. Um, then you've got your atomic Tina, your Debesque with that gorgeous blue. I love that blue. Absolutely gorgeous. So we drop down. You've got your wipeout and you've got your days. These ones have kind of got a little bit of a pearlescent sh um, shimmer to them, if you like, in that idea. Then working across, we've got the outrageously Jojo. Love it. And then that fabulous green as bust. And then as we work our way across, we've got shabby, um, Shaggy Chic. And finally, K-pop? K-pop? K-pop. K-pop. I think as if I want to do like a, you know, like when they do that, kapow. Kapow, kapop. She is a, oh, her very own superhero. Oh, I is love our it. Kelly Potter. Lovely. There you go. Now, if you fancy getting a hold of any of those, you can be paying just £10.98 pence for any two of those. Pop them into your basket, 733252. And, of course, don't forget all those wonderful sprays with all that gorgeous mica in there, giving you lots of interest if you fancy getting hold of those. I'd love to tell you more about them, but we haven't got time. We need to get back over and see what Lynette's up to. So, Lynette, ooh, now you're going to be working with those sprays. Yes. So now we are going to reveal our hidden pattern. Lovely. So again, I'm just going to spray some water down. Okay. And I have torn masking tape. Oh, right. And stuck okay. this down and we're going to have a lovely torn edge. So I'm going to create a rainbow effect. So I'm going to get my water colour brush mm -hmm. right down to the bottom and stir up that mica. And we're just going to... Oh, look at that. It's like a magic painting. The colour across, which then reveals the beauty. So I'm going to touch Ooh, look each colour together so we get that lovely, like, watercolour yes. travelling effect. So let's try and get down a bit of yellow before I touch the. There we go. It looks like a gorgeous sky, that, with that gorgeous purples and oh, oranges in there. It does. So if you find that you haven't, it's, it's not melting together perfectly, mm -hmm. just spritz it with a bit of water. Okay. And it'll just let the colour travel even more. 
So Ooh, the biggest that, drag blue. will always be blue. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm a bit of a blue overload. I love blue. Love yeah, blue. We need a little bit more. Um, Lynette, just to warn you, we are yep. coming into the last minute of the hour, but right. of course you're going to be back bright and early tomorrow morning. Exactly. As well. we'll have Eight to wait for this to dry. So oh, look that'll at be, that. Uh, That's going to be beautiful. Perfect timing. So can you use this in with a demonstration tomorrow morning? So no, all this needs, I think, is a sentiment. Oh. And then it's done. But easy I, will, easy. I will show it tomorrow. So these colours are going to keep travelling together. Yeah. And we'll get a lovely marbled effect, marbled rainbow effect. It's beautiful. We will take the uh, tape off when it's dry and you'll see a lovely like ripped edge. I love that. That's so achievable as well. That's the thing, isn't it? Seeing techniques that really bring those stamps to life. And it's the stamps that do the work, isn't it? That's the key thing, giving you the confidence to give it a go. Lynette, thank you. No, it's been a pleasure you. as always. Oh. Inspirational. Um, now, if you're wanting your one day special, please do make sure you take advantage of it. Of course, this show is going to be repeated through the night. So what the updates will be by tomorrow morning, I don't know. But what I can tell you is we've been phenomenally busy during this hour for your one day special. Details at the bottom the screen if you are wanting to get hold of your one day special don't forget you've got different ways of getting hold of these and freedom members that price at the bottom of your screen i'm going to get some our katie she can swap the details around the freedom members you have got such an amazing deal with regards to this one the biggest saver and if you want to get hold of it get hold of it now So, looking forward to the next hour. We're in for an education. Gan tell flowers. I think that's right. I will soon be corrected if I'm wrong. Um, but then we're going into our nighttime hours, and I'll see you tomorrow. Did you know you can watch Ochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello, I'm Hayley and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers. And we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. I love teaching. For me, it's all about that. 
And so working with Hochanda is fantastic because it gives me the perfect platform to reach out and work with uh, like-minded people and to be able to show um, some of the tricks that I've learned along the way. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray, on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. We are the Stamping Sisters from Stamp Headaches. We'd started our family-run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in-house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda, we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hochanda. Hello there and welcome. Oh, welcome to a fabulous hour. I know it's going to be a fabulous hour because it's going to be an hour of education, of experience and learning so much from this lovely, lovely lady, lovely Gina. I'm back with you again. Hello. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. I've had something to eat. So. Good. <laughs> fabulous. So, raring to go. Now, you may well have joined us a little bit earlier on um, this evening. I think it was at five o'clock we had a show. Yes, five o'clock. Yeah. We were talking buttons then, which many of you will be familiar with Gina and her fabulous knowledge of buttons and the history history of buttons but we're kind of moving our sights elsewhere a little with this hour. Uh, yes, yes. This um, is a whole technique of making embellishments with wire and thread. Okay. Um, it goes back at least to the 15th century, probably oh, right. a bit earlier, Okay. Um, where nuns and other women associated with nunneries um, made shrines for the churches. Oh, I see, yeah. And that is still the reason that they're made in Malta today, which is where we have the name Ganatel, right. which is the Maltese name for the craft. Okay. But the craft itself is is interlinked throughout passamentary. Right. So yes. all of the techniques are used for trimming tassels. Yes. You know, the great big lovely yeah. tassels. Um, so it's all it's all interconnected and depends on which period in time you're looking at as to how it was used. Fascinating subject. It's always brilliant having a chat with Gina. But we've got some amazing things for you. Now I do urge you to jump ahead on the website. I will take you through some of these, including the brand new pair, um, kind of two items that we're sharing with you. Now the first one, you can see these amazing flowers that have been created and the beautiful butterflies. Now within here you have got everything that you need to create these beautiful pieces. You're going to learn how to create these so as time goes on you'll be able to create more of them and um, you can see here just how amazing they are you can see you've got 40 meters of your copper wire in here you've got your skeins in there which of course you're going to be using with your as your embroidery to create and you're going to get things like your winding stick in there and you are going to get your beads as well as your instructions and the instructions to create a whole host of different styles of flowers and butterflies as well yes it, it's just taking you through some of the different shapes of the petals that can be created using this technique there are quite a lot um, this technique twists wire with thread, okay. so it creates a more robust flower or ornament, which makes it particularly good for things like jewellery or, say, bridal headdresses, mm -hmm. um, because it, it does have that little bit more of a robust feel about it. You can manipulate it a little bit more. Because at first sight, when I first looked at these, I thought, oh, it's coloured wire, but it's... It, yes, but it, when it you isn't. Look, it's, it's not. Just I don't know. I'm trying to hold this nice and close and, and tight, so as you can see. But it's kind of the, the, the thread twists around the wire. That's right, yes. So it's prepared thread. So effectively you're working with thread but it's got wire twisted through it. Now the clever, clever um, ladies in um, Malta 
use a drop spindle and oh, really? actually spin wow. wire. So I'm like thinking that must be where Rapunzel comes from. And yes, it just spinning. Make think, it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So beautiful. Amazing. So if you fancy getting hold of those, it looks, I mean, I wish you could literally come through and see these because it is so amazing. Because I did think it was loads of different coloured wires, but it's not. It's all done with that copper wire that you're going to get in here, 40 metres of it. You will get your threads. Now, your threads may vary. Um, Gina will try and keep them as close to this combination as you can see. But from time to time, they do have to kind of mix out. But to be honest, it doesn't matter what, what colours you're working with. You're going to get some wonderful results. And, of course, needless to say, your full instructions there. £22.99, pence, eight eight six eight six three. That is a brand new bundle for us here at Achanda, so if you fancy getting hold of that, you can do, which many of you are doing already. Then we've got something else which fascinates me. I've got no idea how you work it or you operate it, but the fact that you can make these little tiny tiny spring-like formations with these. Now, um, this is to be used alongside the wire that you're getting in many of the kits that we're sharing with you today. But you are going to be able to create the most dinkiest. I don't pick it up because you just be kind of... Uh, it's squashed with my fingers, I'm sure, but you can see that that fine, fine detail wire there. Springs, as you can see, they're beautiful. Then, obviously, dependent on which of these you're working with, Gina's going to show us how to work these, so don't worry, she'll show you way better than I could ever explain. You've got your different, um, and you can see there, all three of those coming through. But then it's what you do with those. Have a look at the way you can twist and turn those elements together, create the most incredible spirals. I mean, look at this. And that's got a thread working through this. So with regards to this, I mean, could you use this for, for jewellery and things like that? You could, well? yes. Those, those are uh, known in passamentary as torsades. And they're the drops, or we tend to refer to them as bullions. Mm -hmm. The drops on those fancy metal like bullion tassels. stitch, I can yeah. see where it comes from, yeah. So, it, but you can do other sort of jewellery wire working coils with yes, it. it um, but the Ganatel, traditional spiral wrap Ganatel, requires that coil. That coil is known as pearl wire in English, but it's also known as canateel. And that's where the word ganatel derives from. Look at that, amazing. We are busy for this. Have you seen the price on your screen, folks? £9.99. pence. This has got to be worth it just to create these beautiful coils, whether you are working with your jewellery or whether you're going to be using them alongside your flowers. It's a must-have. If you're wanting this one, please take advantage. 699-311. It will come with full instructions, but don't worry. Gina is going to be taking us through that with her demonstration, so make sure you stay tuned. So very, very quick, then, go on and tell you about some of the other kits that we've got available. If you want to jump on the website and get hold of anything, then please do so. But very quickly, just show you the different options that we've got for you. Now this one we've got two colour options depending on which one you're wanting to go for. Beautiful butterflies but it's just choosing. Are you going to go down the orange route or are you going to go down the blue and the pink route as you can see. Again all the elements that you need. I don't want to spend too much time here because I do want to make sure we've got plenty of time for Gina but you can see full instructions you've got all the elements in there. You're going to be wrapping that beautiful thread that you're going to get involved um, in with this kit um, and just you can see there just coming together beautifully. Orange or blue your choice £12.99 pence three five zero zero five zero if you are wanting those now lovely colorful um, kind of a adornment that we've got with the neck set here and these are your beautiful chenille flowers now with these ones again you're going to get those bright colored threads in here again you're going to get your copper in there and again you're going to get that tuition and knowledge from gina so as you can turn and this is the thing that i find amazing you can turn that into these beautiful flowers with that knowledge and the know-how that Gina is going to be sharing with you. So if you fancy getting hold of this one, £22.99. Again, we're going through it very speedily so as we can give Gina as much demonstration time as we possibly can. But look at the kind of results you can be getting with those threads. Absolutely beautiful. 951248 if you're wanting to get hold of those. Another set to share with you. Again, beautiful. Again, different style of flower this time. But have a look at these. These are gorgeous. They're beautiful. And again, that twist of the wire that you've got with these. Again, um, full instructions with these, but look at the results that you're going to get. Absolutely amazing. Oh, I love these ones. And again, it's that Ganatel um, flower. As you can see, there, those gorgeous colours. Lots of the techniques, the twists, the turns that we've seen mentioned and seen um, then there. Again, 
all the skeins, everything that you need is there. Twenty-two pounds and ninety-nine pence. Eight two three three five five. Absolutely beautiful. The, these, I mean, from a distance, you'd be looking at these, and it'd be hard pressed to actually figure out whether they're real or not. I mean, they look amazing. Now we've got a fabulous handbook to share with you, and in this one, you have got so many different projects in here. So again, taking that knowledge, you're going to be able to create some amazing pieces. It does come with a tool as well, but you can see there just a little kind of um, element of some of those flowers that you can be able to create. You country flowers in there so lots of flowers that we would be familiar with so um, what have we got in here we've got things like your dog rose your tulip your crocus all of those in there and again a lovely um, wire bound book which means of course it can sit nice and flat so if you are working and it can sit flat and you can keep your hands free as you go but there you go full illustrations up close and personal so you know exactly what you're doing and it's going to come with your fabulous tool to get you your little winding rod as you can see there brilliant now if you fancy creating something you want everything in there then this this is the set for you to create these beautiful poses. Now, this is your pink version. You've got a blue version in a few moments. I think they're on the same item number. It's just purely down to your colour options. So your pink is going to come with that gold tone, as you can see there. Um, so with this particular one here, you've got your pink, as you can see there, a lovely kind of salmony pink in there, really pretty. With your gold tone wire and your gold um, tone findings, you can see those gorgeous look like little bouquet holders. Beautiful. So if gold tone is something that you like, perhaps in your jewellery, then that one is going to be the set for you but if you are a cooler blue and a silver toned person then the next set might be the best one for you because again you've got that silver tone wire with your silver tone elements alongside this one to give you a totally different look five three six six seven three just fifteen pounds and ninety nine pence again and then we've got all sorts of fabulous things in this set now this looks as if it's going to create all sorts of different pieces because you've got pegs that you can move and rotate to wherever you need them to go and it's a little jig um, not a little kind of jig that you do like to a bit of music <laughs> but this is a petal and leaf jig so it's going to be something that's incredibly useful you've got interchangeable pegs with that one again it's those that you're going to be using to create and move your wire to give you the different results and that's what it's all about and again i know jean is going to show us this one during the course of the hour so for the time being 15 pounds and 99 pence 733937 if you wanted to get hold of that one now we've got another one for you this is your number two so this one if you wanted to get hold of this one this is your jig top which means absolutely nothing to me but we will learn about it as the hour progresses you may well have already seen Gina's show so if you're wanting to get hold of this one you can see that even more wire work petals and leaves can be created with the layout of this one you've got 18 patterns in there so a comprehensive kit for 9.99 again both of those ones don't come with wire but you will have plenty of wire in the other kits and you may already have some in your stash that you're wanting to use up so 384043 and then you've got the practicalities of using things like the wires and the cord and the, the threads so this is going to be perfect way for you to actually store those so you've got this fabulous little box where you're going to be able to add these gorgeous little spools look at that winding your thread onto the wind the bobbin up wind the bobbin up um, and you can see you're going to have a perfect opportunity for you to keep that was that really really out of tune it sounded perfect in the head, but anyway, 574021. A bit of auto tuning may be required. Then the last one you've got, and this is a brilliant one, because look at this, they all sit so beautifully when you don't drop them all over the floor. Um, and they sit in this little, look at that, little holder there. Absolutely beautiful. There you go. Now, if you fancy getting hold of this, which will give you the opportunity to keep your spools, then the spools do come with it, 999 brilliant you can see straight away the different spools that you've got to work with so there you go that was the speediest count i think i've ever done so let's jump onto the website and then we'll head over to gina let's maximize that time that we've got with her we don't get her here as often as we would like so we wouldn't take advantage of her when she does come in so loads of demos coming up if you've got any questions that you're wanting to ask then please do email in studio at chanda.com do check out some of those reviews you can see on the website there's some fabulous reviews and there's anything that you need to know just get in touch that is the key thing um, we're just here for this hour so this is your opportunity to ask any of those questions studio at chanda.com don't forget those kind of fundamentals that you need things like your tools you can see that you've got your wire cutters there and of course Gina will be working with those throughout so do make sure that you're popping those into your basket as you go and loads and loads of additional threads should you need them should of course you're going to need them these are fabulous things that you're creating um, so yeah pop any of those into your basket as you go Gina can't Lovely. wait what Can what I do you want to show us do a little interruption and just wish um, my design team member Anne who did all the
these lovely flowers. A very happy birthday today. From the team <laughs> behind us? Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, well, happy birthday from the Tanza <laughs> team as well. Thank you for your work because you make our job so much easier when we can show the fabulous things that you created. I'll get that down and we'll have a closer look in a while. <laughs> Right, so the new kit uses prepared thread and what we do to prepare the thread is twist it okay. with a length of wire. So you've got the wire in the kit and you've got the thread and I recommend that you use two lengths. It's the stranded embroidery cotton. However, to try to make it show up a little bit better, I'm using a full um, six strands. Okay. Okay. Yep. But just so that you've got enough to do all of the flowers and, mm -hmm. and make sure that you have spare. It's also a more delicate look when you use two. I personally prefer it. Okay. Now, what you need to do, as I said, is you twist them together. So you need to find a fixed point. That can be a clamp. It can be, um, for instance, a cup hook, which our tornado oh, tools do come with a there, cup yeah. hook. Just don't put it in your best table and then yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you need a fixed point. And then in the kit, you get a winding stick. Okay. So I'll show you what you how you use that first, because then if you don't want the tool, that's fair enough. Okay. Okay, and what you do is you knot two ends. So you knot together a length, of wire and a length of thread at both ends to create like a loop. Okay. All right. One end goes onto the fixed point and one end the stick goes through. Okay. And then you twizzle the stick. Okay. Oh, we can see it starting to wind just, just and a yeah, little You can see that yeah. it starts to wind. So you have to twizzle it around. Okay. Now if you've got the tornado tool, you use the hook tool. Okay. It goes just a bit quicker then. Right. It's a bit more convenient because you can do this. Oh wow. Okay. Oh my goodness, yes. So you need to Game keep this, changer. this taut but not tight. You okay. don't want to be pulling, you don't yeah. want to be yanking. You just want to keep it at a at my so goodness, that everything that is, so is straight quick. and tidy. Yeah. And then you twist and you twist. See, the twisting, although I mean, it's a fundamental part of the whole action, it's it not is. the most exciting bit to do. It so isn't the most exciting bit. Saving time using the tool. I mean, that is incredible how fast that goes. Now, you've got different sizes of these. So are these for different opportunities? Well, you've got one hook. You've only okay. got the one hook. So oh, yes, so you have, yes. The hook is, um, this is it. It's for a twisting. It can twist wire together to make the bullions. Okay. Um, it can tw it, you can use this to make cord. Okay. Well, it's proven to be very popular with our viewers, rapidly approaching 40% of the stock. So if you are wanting yours, um, of course, Jean is taking us through the paces. She's keep, she's winding as she goes, bless her. But you have got full instructions in here. So everything that Jean has already mentioned, you're going to get those instructions in there. So all about kind of securing your um, your wire, your thread, how to get it into position, how to get it um, together. And I think this is the key thing. Obviously, the kit that we've been chatting about at the bottom of your screen, you can create just using that. that that's not a problem, but this is kind of, it's like what I would call the difference between a hand whisk and an electric whisk. Exactly. <coughs> yeah. Pardon me. Um, so you, have you got a glass of water over there, Jean? Should we sort you I haven't, some? but I could do with one. We will get one for you. Yeah, it just play habit, doesn't it? Uh, um, can we get one of those organised for you? I don't want anybody to get a kit and, and you know, oh, I need loads of other things. Mm -hmm. Hence, adding in yes. the stick so that you can do that. Yeah. Uh, yes, you need a, um, a fixed point, but I find that, um, for instance, if you don't have a cup hook or a clamp, even um, a push pin. Oh, yes, yeah. Again, not your best table, but a push pin pushed in can just hold it because you're not pulling, you're just holding it at a bit of tension. I remember doing cord um, years ago on a door handle. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You can certainly rig up different yeah. things. Okay. Basically, what you're doing is you're twisting it together until you've got a nice... You see that? Oh, yeah. Well, hold that still and we'll come and have a little look at that because that looks amazing. That is beautiful. And what you're aiming for is you're aiming for when you actually do bend that, you don't get a pop of thread. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. But if you over twist it, you do run the risk of your wire breaking. Right. Okay. Okay. But as you can see, I mean, I've done quite a long length there and it's not taking me very long. At no, all. not at all. 
And it's gorgeous. It's kind of that twist that you've got with the, the colour going alongside. And, of course, you've got your copper tone um, wire got, in there. Exactly. And if colors. you choose to use different colours of wire, you will also change the color so if you use the silver and so on yeah. you get a different type of sparkle can i show so you it's a nice way of adding a bit of almost glitter it is yeah we're going to get that water into gina let's just quickly have a little look at those flowers just so as i can show you these these are amazing it shows you how you've got that twist it's almost like a two-tone it's almost like you know when you look at baker's twine and you've got those two threads coming together that's a very similar description to this but you can see there you've got your different elements there you've got your copper there alongside those beautiful threads that you're getting within your set as well and of course, as Gina mentioned, just use a couple of the strands. She's working with a thicker um, consistency, so as we can see it better on camera. But there you go, you can see that gorgeous copper tone coming through. Yeah, Isn't that beautiful? It's very effective. Lovely. Okie dokie. So what's next then, Okay, Gina? so I've got a little length that I did earlier correctly with only two um, oh, yes, lengths yeah. of thread. Okay, so that I can show you a flower without you having to watch every single one of them. And then... The instructions will tell you to cut a length, a plain length of wire. Okay. And then the way that you make these flowers, well, one of the petals, is we're going to hold the end alongside sort of the center of the wire. Okay. And then I'm going to wrap around. That's one initial wrap. I'm going to go again. Okay. And I'm going to go again. Now, so each of the different flowers will tell you how many initial wraps oh, um, on okay. the different petals. It, yeah. it all achieves a different look. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to take the wire, the plain wire, move it anti-clockwise. Okay. Bring the prepared thread down. Yeah. And twist it around. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to bring it around again. Whilst it's small, I know that you can't really see it, but trust me. And then bring it and twist it again. So we've got a little oh, bit of an see. oval. Oh, just coming into the middle. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to do that again. So you go around as many rotations as the instructions tell you. That's right. Sometimes it will simply say, basically, what I suggest is that you start out by making your prepared thread with one meter of wire and one meter of um, the thread. The thread. Mm -hmm. And then usually to then cut it in half. Okay. So a little bit of tape to stop it unwinding is a good idea. Mm -hmm. And then most of the petals will use a half. Okay. So yeah. it makes it quite convenient. So I've gone around a few times. I've encased that starting point so I can snip that off and get that out of my way to make so it's it, a Q &A, so you're make okay. it nicer. And then keep winding. And you're just basically lining up the wire alongside. You need to see what's happening now. Yeah. Getting bigger now yeah. so you can see it a little more clearly. Keep it doesn't going. take long for it to get bigger. I mean, look at that. It, it doesn't take long at all. Um, and, you know, if you already do a little bit of wire working, you can use all different sort of weights of wire for the stem as well. Um, I'll leave it at that. I don't think I can go around again. So I'll just twist a little bit down. That creates a new stem. This excess... We cut it off, leaving a bit of a tail. And then basically fold it down to hold everything in place. Oh, and wow. there is a petal. Oh, my goodness. sparkly petal. Yeah. Okay, so then we want to make it into a flower. Okay. So you need your centers. I've done two. I'll show you how to do the next one. So I use that piece of wire. And for this particular type of center, thread a bead onto a length of wire. Again, the measurements are all there. Okay. Fold that in half. Mm -hmm. Hold on to the bead just to twist it a little bit towards the top, and then you can swizzle that to make your center there. Okay. And just to fasten that together. And you can twizzle that as much as you like. And you're getting so the then beads we have in the kit three as well. 
beads are in the kit as well, aren't they? Yes, yeah. yes, you've got the beads in the kit as well. So we'll take the three, and then we'll take a petal and a length of wire to bind it, mm -hmm. and just wrap it around. So put a little wrap. And if you've got a little bit of an overlap, it looks a little bit more um, natural. It's all Natural so malleable. in a fantasy sort of way. Yes, <laughs> yeah. But it's all very malleable, twistable and poseable. You can put where you want them to because go. Because of the way of working the, um, twisting the wire and the thread, this is. This is very forgiving in actual fact. Um, spiral Ganatel requires a little bit more care and does also mean that you should shape your petals before you wrap them with thread, actually. Um, but this method, you can shape your petals afterwards, which is really nice. So now, I know you had those petals prepared, but how quick has that come together? Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, well, the one that I didn't have prepared, I mean, it did go is quickly, and really, no doing time, the wire yeah. went very quickly. Yeah. So, then... You can just manipulate your petals. And you can be quite rough with them because it is that wire is there with oh, look at the that. thread in it. And so there you have it. That and so you can see cool. that because it's got that, it, it's that bit more robust. Yes, yeah. It's really nice for things like tiaras and, yeah. you know, bridal wear and things yeah, like that. Beautiful. Because it's not, it's not really going to go anywhere. Yeah. I love that. How amazing is that? Gina, thank you so much. Can I just show you? I mean, I've just picked up the, the pamphlet or the instructions, should I say, that come alongside it. And that technique that Gina has shown you, I mean, that is echoed through the different elements. Obviously, it depends on the way that you shape the petal, shape the leaf to give those different results. But you've actually got the instructions in here that are going to take you from those basics, creating those fabulous flowers. You can see there, Gina's just shown us pretty much how to create that with the beads in the centre there. But twisting them, turning them, getting the different results. With the, again, using the leaves, I mean, you saw that technique for the petal, very similar for the leaves, but giving a few extra kind of twists and turns, you give it the different shape. And then, of course, you've got the fabulous little butterfly that you can be able to create as well. And everything that you need is within the kit. Now, obviously, you can, if you want to, go for the um, additional tool to speed up the process, but you don't have to. So this is kind of like a brand new craft almost for £22.99. It's not often you get the opportunity to say that, really, is it? And you're going to get your five skeins of thread in there again these are six strands but you're not going to use six strands in each time you're going to use a couple of those so you can imagine just how far they are going to go you've got obviously your 40 meters of your copper wire there you've got your winding stick which is included and your beads as well so you can kind of change out and mix up the centers of those flowers and you can see in this wonderful little display that you've got here the beautiful flowers that you're going to be able to create by adding in those gorgeous threads such a fabulous technique such a clever idea and what i would suggest is if you can stretch to it do add in that um, tornado coiling twisting toolkit because this is a brilliant idea obviously we saw just one element of it being used in gina's demonstration there i know that you can be able to use it in more than one way but if you want in the kit for the flowers then the details are on your screen just to the side here though this is where we've got that tornado uh, tornado kit with the handle in there is it ingenious? Brilliant. Simple, simple tool like that, but of course it makes all that time saving, which means you've got more time to create. And of course you've got all the additional elements in there as well, which Gina will take us through in a few moments. Over 50% of the stock has gone off that one, so 699311. Lots of you have been jumping ahead as well to get this fabulous book that you've got here. So obviously the technique we've learned, it would learn a little bit, but again, comprehensive um, elements is how to create that first petal, that first flower. But then what you will do is you'll go on and create even more. Now this is a fabulous book because in here you're going to learn how to create all your different um, types of petals as you can see there and then when you start putting them together with the techniques in here you are going to be able to create the most incredible flowers and learn so much. I mean have a look at that. 60% of the stock has gone of these. So you've got things like your dog rose that you're going to learn how to create in here. They're all just kind of heart-shaped petals. Your tulip in here as well, your crocus, 
um, your lesser um, celadine. Oh, didn't even know that was a thing. Sorry, I was reading that for myself and not showing you. I do apologise. But in fact, you've got all of these fabulous flowers, 88 pages in total, and you can be able to create all of those. And it does come with a little winding rod as well. So, of course, you can create with this one as well. So there's 20 different petals that you're going to be able to learn and your foliage as well, which when you bring them all together, you can create those gorgeous flowers. 14 99 that is a wise investment of anybody's money. 824412. Now, I'm going to head back over to Gina to see what else she's got planned. So right. what have we got next? Oh, I thought I would show you how to use the tornado tools for the coils. Okay, lovely. Because Thank you. the spiral ganatelle all requires the coils. I'm going to actually use the medium-sized tool okay. um, for the demonstration, only because I think it will show up better. But most of our kits actually recommend the finest tool. So it's... It's the same thing, the same way to make it. So with the tool, you place the wire over the front of the tool and then just loosely wrap around the upright. Because okay. that's just basically all we're doing is securing it. Okay. Then we're going to hold, just rest the um, long section of the tool on our fingers mm -hmm. and hold the wire with our thumb. We're okay. not going to pull, we're not pulling any tension, we're just guiding it. It's okay. just going between our fingers and we're going to turn. And the idea is, is to try to get it fairly close together, Okay. but every so often push it so that it goes closer together, which does seem counterintuitive when you're working with Ganatel because you then go and spread the wires apart. <laughs> okay. But it does mean that what you actually get is a more even coil. Yeah, it's kind of a, you're balancing it out at this stage. That's you know? right. Yeah. And as I say, you don't pull on this because if you pull, you do run the risk of um, making your coil too tight, actually, and okay. it will be difficult to remove. You would think that metal on metal would, you know, be very easy, but I have done them <laughs> a bit too tight. But also, if you ever get into working with... Um, silk covered wires yes that will cause a friction okay. if it's too tight so you do just have to just be gentle with it just take your time and guide it along it's and as you can see I'm, I'm getting a pearl wire quite quickly you are very very quickly now if you're not happy with the result can we can retwist this or you it... probably would be better to not retwist okay. it because of the kink in it it's yeah. hard to get um, the kink out of the copper wire but to be honest you'll soon be practiced okay um, our kits are for instance our basic ganatel kit um, does require that you um, make your own pearl and that contains a brass a 0.08 straight brass rod okay the regular ganatel kit so basically you can wind it round and round the rod working in this direction because there's no um, handle bent into it. So you just wind it round and round and that will make you your pearl wire for that particular kit. Uh, the butterfly kits come with manufactured pearl wire. Okay. So, and then you just ease that off, take it slowly off the end and there is your coil oh, of wire for your Ganatel petals. Okay. Fabulous. Now the next thing to do as I said before, is that now we need to gently spread the oh, coils out. Opening it now you don't want to pull this too far. Okay. Um, it is best dependent upon the thread that you are using. Mm -hmm. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to hook your thread into that gap that you're creating. Oh, so you don't I want see. a big gap. You just want just so a gentle it's wide gap. enough for your thread to sit in the, the gap. That's right. Got yeah, you. yeah, that's right. Okay. So the next thing to do, I like to trim off the ends. Some people don't. Some people keep the ends on and and the snips that you use. Are them. those in the toolkit? Those that we've are got? in the toolkit that's on the website. Okay. There's a, a side cutter pliers and um, regular. Okay. 
round nose pliers. There is indeed. We're actually half the stock of those have gone, <laughs> so uh, details are at the bottom of the screen. While I've got your attention, can I very, very quickly mention, obviously, the toolkit that we're talking about at the moment, creating those fabulous coils. Three different sizes. Gina's working with the centre one at the moment, but don't forget, you are going to be able to use it to create some amazing pieces, just like this here. But rapidly approaching 60% of the stock has gone. They have been flying out, and I'm not surprised, at £9.99, this is such an affordable way for you to create some absolutely amazing results. I mean, look at that. Absolutely fascinating. There's no thread actually involved with that one. It's just two different colour tones of your wire. So if you are into your wire work on a jewellery um, sense, um, then this is definitely something that you want to get hold of. And at 9.99, such an affordable way of doing it. So 699-311. I will keep you updated. But as I say, very n close to 60% of the stock having gone. So to make a traditional spiral gunnetail pedal, you then take that coil to the right size that you require and you take another straight length of wire. You thread the coil in onto the wire so that it's holding it. And don't make, have your wire too thick because again, you don't want to fill that gap. Now technically, you can just fold that and there's a the pedal. See, that looks pretty just as it yeah. is. But I'm going to show you how to shape, put a little bit more shape into it using the jig. Okay. Okay. Lovely. Now the jig itself comes with a series of patterns that you can interchange. Oh, okay, um, right. Just by sliding it under the top that comes with the jig. So jig top number two is a replacement. You undo the screw, take this one off put number two on top. So don't go for number two as your first option. No, so no, you need because, to have had one yeah, already. Yeah, you've got spare pegs right. with number two and everything, but you don't have that base so, to hold everything so together. So if you haven't got any of them, we've got one and two coming up on your screen. But if you've already got number one, then you can just add in number two if you wanted to. To be honest, they're very affordable, so you can potentially add them both in at the same time. So the first one that you need, you need to have this one for definite, £15.99. and pence. But then if you want to do the additional bits that Jean is working with, the details at the bottom if you screw. The, the ones that I'm doing right now is just from um, number one. Okay, so, so what you're, you're doing, you could do I'm, with just I'm that one. I'm right. popping the pegs in where the um, black dots are. Okay. Which you probably can't see now. And then there's an outline as well. Okay. Um, let me show you in fact, if I slide that off, so the you pattern, can see I don't know if we've got the pattern that there were actually. black dots there. So pop that back and then you place your ready um, threaded coil mm -hmm. around the pegs according to the line that's drawn on it and then you can pull ever so slightly and then because this has got a straight one I also like to push in a little and then my pedal shaped that is and clever. then I can make all of the pedals for all of the flowers that are the same shape very quickly so there's and no guesswork at all and then just twist the, at the base and there's one pedal oh so God. then to cover this pedal again you've got a stranded embroidery cotton in the regular Ganatel kit Mm -hmm. um, traditionally, a silk would have been used, um, and a rayon. Our pretty posy kits both have rayons um, okay. in them, so just that little bit uh, fancier and a little bit more difficult to perhaps work with, but okay. it's well worth it. It's springy rayon. Lovely. I'm going to put a little loop. This just makes it easy for me to tie on, but you can just tie the ends at the base of the pedal. Now, with the actual Ganatel, um flower kits, we've actually got a couple of different styles. Does it matter which one you're going for? This one, what I'm illustrating now, is what's in the Ganatel flower kit. Right. Lovely. Okay. That's the one that we've got um, on the screen. And then the chenille is a different one again. That's it, the chenille. I couldn't think what the magic word was. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so before you start wrapping, you need to shape. So let's just say we want to curve it round my finger. So okay, then yeah. the side profile you see will Beautiful, be a little yes, bit more shaped. Yeah. You don't have to do that, but because I've decided I want them shaped, you can't do it after you've wrapped it with thread. Right. Okay. Okay. So we come up. Mm -hmm. I can already tell you, by the way, I won't have enough thread on that I've cut, but that's all right. 
and clip it round. Okay. And then down and over to the next. And we're going to work in a spiral. And that's why it's the spiral wrapping. Now, I can see the kind of connection with the buttons with this. Exactly. Some of the techniques yeah. that you did with the buttons have it's, been replicated here. Yeah, it's all the same. This method, um, putting the wire around and spiraling, um, you will also find um, on military buttons, yes. uh, dress uniform buttons. Ah. Because the wire holds it in place, and what they're actually doing is a lot of gold work. Yeah. So they will then use, you know, proper sort of gold-plated, admiralty gold Beautiful wires. Really and 